In this episode we are going to use logic nodes to actually move this cube. But before I continue, uh, one more information I wanted to add to the previous part where we, where we created this Python script to move the cube. And I say to you that uh, when I run the game I always have to press the left, right or right, left, forward, backward keys to actually detect. So if I'm, let's say if I press the right key and I'm holding it down, nothing happens, it only moves once. So if you want to have continuous movement, I just found, find out this thing. So go to the sensors and here is this up arrow. Just click on this, it says that it is a pulls through level, activate through level triggering pulls mode. So click on this one and here you can actually skip some frames if you want, but I'm going to leave it at zero. So now if I go here and press the P key if, and if I press the left key, it moves continuously. So let's do this also for the right. So here is here it is. And also for the forward and also for the backward. And now let's try it. So now it, it it's only enough to press the keys once and it will move continuously. Okay, so now let's go to the logic node part. So as usual, I just prepared the scene with the, with the plane which acts as a ground and this cube which acts as a player character and of course uh, a camera. Okay, so in order to have logic nodes, you should go first to the edit and preferences. And let's scale this window up and go to the add-ons tab and here search for the game, where is game development, game engine. So select this one and check this game engine logic nodes. So it by default it is unchecked. You should check it and it will add some additional uh, logic nodes menus. And uh, okay, so that's what you need to do in order to in order to have logic nodes and now let's scale this bottom part and go to this and search for the logic nodes and here it is so shift f f3 so select this and it creates this blank canvas where you can do your logic nodes but first of all let's press the new and it creates some kind of a context for uh, logic nodes, so some kind of a node tree. You can add new nodes uh, in two ways. You can press the, so hover, uh, go with your mouse pointer to this view and press the shift A, oops, shift A, and you will have all these nodes here. And the second way is just click on this add and search it for, uh, for the nodes here. And the first node I'm just going to add is the keyboard input node. So you can find it here. So here is the input. You can have gamepad inputs, you can have keyboard and you can have mouse inputs. And let's select the keyboard input. And I'm just going to add, let's say the key down or the, uh, yes, the key down. You can zoom in also and zoom out from this view. So let's zoom in. So the next thing will be to actually detect which key we want to press. So here you can click on this press and choose and press the left arrow. So it detected that we press the left arrow. And let's just duplicate this node by uh, shift D and also press here and detect the right arrow. So we have the left arrow and the right arrow detected. And one more thing uh, as I said uh, in the previous video, uh, just always make sure you have, you have the correct object selected. Okay, and now we are going to add a translation node. So go to add, add, and uh, you can find it in the objects, object, translation. And here you can add, 
uh, apply all sorts of trans translations like apply forces, apply rotations, torque, or move to. I'm just going to add this translate translate node, and I'm going to select or just connect the if pressed to the condition. And here in the object menu, I'm just going to click on this and select the cube. Okay, so let's duplicate this translate node. So shift D, duplicate it and move it down. And we are also going to connect the second key, which is the right row. So if pressed, here is the condition, the cube is already selected. And uh, okay, so when we press the left arrow, we are going to move it on the X axis, uh, negative 0.2 units. And when we press the right arrow here in the vector, we are going to move it on the X axis, but this time positive 0.2. So here we are moving negative 0.2. Here we are moving it positive 0.2 units. And uh, okay, so just uh, one more step is missing. So let, let me try to run it. So move here the mouse pointer, press P. And if I press the left and the right arrow, nothing happens. So one more thing is, one more thing what you should do is just go here in this menu. And here is the, I don't know what it says, dashboard, dot, dashboard. Yeah, select this and select the cube. And here is the this button apply to selected. And let's press it. And now let's try it. So P and it moves, but it moves very, 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 very slowly. So one more thing, what we are going to select is this key tap. So press on this one and also on the right arrow. So key tap and now press P and it just does this strange thing. Okay, I just added uh, pr probably the wrong node, so we are we are, we don't need uh, we are not want to use the translate nodes. So here ju I'm just increased it from negative zero point two to uh, negative two, and if I run it, it will do this. So it goes right, then it jumps back. So it moves two units to the right and jumps back, and the same for the left. So this, so we won't use uh, for now the translate. I'm just going to delete these two nodes. And instead of the translate, go to the object transform. We are going to apply, apply movement. So we use this one, but now we are going to apply the movement. So connect the if pressed to the condition here, select the cube and apply movement to the X. And we are going to the negative so negative 0.2 units and just duplicate this one so shift d connect the if pressed to the condition the cube is already selected but this time we are going to move it 0.2 units positive okay so use this node apply movement and now let's go here and press the p key and now it moves as as I wanted and also if just uh, if you unselect these two so the key downs go here and now it will you have to press the keys continuously to actually move this cube so that's why we need to select or press on these and let's add two more directions for the forward and the backward. So I'm just going to se select these two and shift D to duplicate. Let's add the upper row. So press here, press the upper row. It detected that we are uh, that we press the upper row. The X will be zero and uh, Y will be 0 0.2. And the cube is already selected. And now select these, shift D to duplicate and here press press the down arrow and on the wide 
y direction we are going to move it negative 0.2 units so here we have all three axes this these are the left and the right and these are the up and the down or the forward and the backward and let me try it so pr press p oops and of course of course i messed up it here so x should be zero and the y should be negative 0 0.2 and uh, this is the down or here ne not negative but just 0 0.2 and now let's try it so it goes forward backward left and right and one more thing if you go back so when you when you hear uh, when you press the apply to selected it creates under the hood it creates a logic bricks so if you go back to the logic brick editor uh, here it is logic bricks editor as you can see it created this always sensor and it created a python script and let me show you this python script so if you want to search what it generated under the hood just go to the uh, your project folder when your where your blend file is and here it generated this folder called bg logic and if you go there you will find an init uh, underscore init that pi so it so it says that this is a python module and it created this nln node nl node tree python file so let's just open it and you will find all the auto generated code here if you want to take a look on it okay so let's go back here to the logic notes logic notes and uh, that's all what i wanted to show you in this one so how to use the logic notes and of course this project will be uploaded to my patreon page so if you support you will have access all these project to all these project files